Hello, uh, this is a quick follow-up to part one, Sh because during part one, I was noting that uh, several times I had to note that when you have um, just one or two charts loaded, your your experience with the electronic charting is, uh, is more disrupted with this program in particular, and all of them on some level. And so here now I've loaded all the charts from the state of Washington, and you see you can zoom in, and then you can just pan along. Here's where they've been, uh, obviously been quilted to come together, and so on, and it works a it works a whole lot nicer as you look as you uh, go around and look at the charts. Now, uh, and for the full state of Washington, for example, individual charts are two to four megabytes typically. All the state of Washington, on the other hand, if you load that, that's about 340 megabytes. And uh, so I've been a little chintzy on loading them because we cover. Uh, do we do charting exercises all over the country, and then I end up with, a, if I use these raster charts, you gigabytes of data. So here, then, if you look on a show, the chart outlines, and so here's an example. I say, okay, so now you see when you turn on the chart outlines and you have all the charts, you see what they look like. So all the charts for the state of Washington include some coastal charts that extend out here, then down into all the harbor charts and uh, uh, close-in charts. So it's uh, 2 to 4 megabytes per chart, and for the whole state of Washington, uh, which is about uh, oh, 22, I think it's some 22 charts. Of, some of them are along the Columbia River, and 4 or 5 are ocean charts. It's 340 megabytes, and that's all I wanted to show here.